guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm showing you how to make this card so i needed something to do on this day i had no cards being planned or anything so i wanted to just use some of the stamps that i bought and some of the stencils and just try a different technique that i've never done before so i'm taking little monsters by needing tangled a birch tree stencil that i created using a die i bought the grass stencil scene by waffle flower and the rolling cloud scene so i did do a little bit of a trial run on some scrap paper and then I worked out like what I needed to do and stuff. So I just die cut a piece of um, card stock in, out of um, the waffle flower over the fence stencil, stencil, die, it's a die, no stencil. Um, and I'm just using cottage ivory just to go over this, just to make it, you know, grassy. <laughs> um, you could color it in if you wanted to. I just wanted to do some ink blending. Um, so yeah, I've never done this technique before where I've um, basically built up the entire background of my card. I'm not really somebody who's very good at doing that, so I try not to go too far. Um, because I am one of those people that will get very frustrated if something doesn't go a certain way. Um, I don't know if anybody else is like that, but for me it just it has to go a way that I want. If not, then I can be very frustrated and stress myself out unnecessarily, so... As you can see, I've also partially um, die cut my images that I'm going to be using just so I can use them as sort of a guideline and grid. Um, so I'm just cleaning up my workspace as you can see there. Um, and you will see me constantly keep going backwards and forwards with different stencils and stuff and trying to figure out where things are going to go. Um, so guys, if you have any card suggestions that you want to see, do let me know in the description or the link. Or go over to my Instagram and inbox me over there. It doesn't really matter. Um, because I really am struggling so much at the moment. Because obviously March is quite um, very much empty for me. Because my birthday is in March and that's pretty much it. Um, I've already done a birthday card for another girl's birthday in March. Um, so that was done in February. So I'm, I was way ahead with that. Um, and this is the thing. I get too far ahead. And... I forget either if I've done the card for the person or I've got nothing to film for that month because I've already done it and that is something I struggle with a lot of the time. Um, so yeah, I'm just ink blending some grass onto my card base now using the bamboo leaves and I thought I figured out how, how high I needed my grass and stuff to do so you will see three layers of grass actually stenciled in with this one on top excuse me i've got hiccups again so the birch trees i actually die cut um out of a, a die that i've had so i bought this die from ebay and it was from china i wasn't expecting great results or anything but i never actually used it and i thought about it and i was like you know i could make it into a stencil and see if i can use it that way um and <laughs> it's still been in my stash and i've still not done it so Anyways, I'm bringing in the rolling clouds with some tumbled glass distress oxide. Um, and basically, when I did this test run the first time on some scrap paper, I did all the grass first, then the trees, and then the clouds. And the inks just mixed together to give you this horrible colour and it didn't look great. So I kind of learned there that I need to do the clouds before I do my trees because a brown is a more darker colour than blue is so yeah I definitely I love how this card turned out though I definitely think I need to have more confidence in myself and my abilities um and maybe if I don't fully 100% like think I'm gonna be able to get it to go a certain way then to just do a practice run with it and just try at least um anyways here's the desert sand and I'm just gonna do some ink blending for the trees now the stuff that I used to use to make this a stencil why did I just say use twice sorry about that that was weird <laughs> but yeah um I bought some um stencil um I don't know what this material is called but it basically it's the same material as a stencil but it's a little bit more flimsy um and because there's such intricate dyes as well it's a little bit fussy at times so you've got to hold it down and instead of doing the circular motions you've got to do the swishing motion as I like to call it where you basically put things and pad it onto it um it just makes it a lot easier and you can't go out of the 
the lines you want so yeah no i definitely recommend just having a play around with your stuff and just see what you can come up with um but like i said i had no idea what i was going to be making this day so i actually downloaded an app that night um which is a generator app where you can basically type in categories color schemes stuff like that and i'm going to be using that for the next couple of weeks um if i don't have any cards planned because i literally have no idea what cards to film and what cards to make so yeah so the sentiment i ended up using also is from the entangled um unfortunately i couldn't link it but it says we always find a way i don't even know who to give this card to and i don't even know when you'd use that sentiment unless somebody that you know is struggling with time and stuff like that then maybe that could be something like a new mom but i really don't know who i'm giving this to i just gonna have some cards in my stash you know um so yeah but anyways i'm gonna stop talking i'm gonna be coloring in and then i'm gonna be basically putting my card together so i'm not gonna talk through that process because it very much is simplistic um i just glued down my images and used some 3d foam adhesives to prop up the grass and then the balloon i also added some glossy accents to the balloon to make it more realistic some spectrum no sparkle pen to the monster just so that stands out along with the rolling clouds so <laughs> it's pretty much very simple so i will talk to you guys in my next video probably now um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like and subscribe follow me over on my social media and hit that notification bell it will notify you every time i post a video so you guys will be just as surprised as i am when video content goes out but yeah i will see you in my next video guys stay safe and happy crafting Thank you.